Welcome to the Daddy Curves Farm. We're in the kitchen again. It's gonna be Mama Curves and Adriana. Woo! We are going to make elderberry syrup. We're so excited about this. Yes, so excited. This will be fun. This is my favorite recipe. I bought it before in the store, but um, I went to a, a class the other night and we made it in class and it was so good I could just drink it. For our recipe, it calls for distilled water, elderberries, rose hips, honey from our farm, local honey, right in our backyard, cinnamon sticks, and wolfberries. Let's get started. Adriana, will you help me get it all ready? I sure will. We're going to triple the batch so we have enough for our families. Sweet. So we are going to do three-fourths of a cup of dried elderberry. Fresh leaf open. What do you think? That looks good? Oh, a little bit more, right? Have you seen elderberries before? <laughs> I've seen these. They're so <laughs> tiny. They really are. Oh, they smell good. They really do. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And we're pouring that in there? Yep. Sweet. The rose hips. Nice. Again. Three fourths of a cup. All right. Let's see. What do you think? Perfect. Perfect. They look like little raisins. They really do. Next will be the wolf berries. Again, three fourths of a cup. A little bit more. It's okay. To do it. One whole cup. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just gonna. Ready. This smells amazing. It does. Just the mixture of these three already. And then we are going to use 12 cinnamon sticks. Can you imagine what the house is going to smell like? I know. It's going to smell like 12? 12. 12. Perfect. Seven. That's perfect. And then we're going to use 12 cups of distilled 12. water. 12. 12. 12 times, girl. Dang. Good workout. Hmm? Where are we at? Sit. Yeah. I, I want to fill up the whole thing, and I'm like, that's not a whole cup. <laughs> that's more than a cup. In? Mm-hmm. Well, First cups. time making this, by the way. <laughs> so we're learning together. Five. And we're kind of on. And twelve. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Oh, pretty. Now it says to bring it to a boil. A rapid boil, and then we're gonna simmer for 45 minutes, stirring occasionally. The honey goes in afterwards. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Let's wait to see what it turns out. <laughs> okay, Adriana, it looks like it's boiling. So we brought it to a rapid boil. How's it smell? It smells delicious already. Look how fruity it looks. Are how purple it is. Oh, wow, look at that. Holy moly, that is beautiful. Okay, so the instructions say bring to a rapid boil, then simmer for 30 to 45 minutes, stirring occasionally. So we want to stir? Yep. All right, now we're going to simmer and set a timer. Smelling. How's it looking? Oh, it's looking great. Wow, and it changed it's... color. Oh my God, yeah. It smells great. Wish you guys could smell it because it smells delicious. And allow it to cool to room temperature. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> That's the best part, trying it. Yes. So let it cool, huh? Now we have to wait again. Ugh. Get anxious. So we'll use this to strain and get all those berries out of that liquid, right? Yes. Oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> there you are. So how are we doing this? Are we draping it over? I think so. That looks good to me. We'll see. We're learning together, right? Yes. Okay. According to the recipe, we let it sit at room temperature. It took probably an hour. An hour. I'd say yeah. an hour. So now we're going to strain the berries from the liquid, and we're going to do that using the cheesecloth. And then after that, we're going to add the honey. Here we go. Let me grab the camera again. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. All right, so I'm just going to hold on to this because I don't know what's going to happen. All right, let's see. Okay. So I would probably say maybe putting something around it. Like a rubber band? Right. So that way, see how it's yes. falling? Learn as you go, right? Yes. Oh, nice. And you're prepared. Look at you. 
Dang. Handy dandy junk drawer. Right? We all have one. Oh, so much better. Oh, yes. Definitely get a rubber band for sure. We got this. And if I'm going too slow, you let me know. Nope. Yep. All of this mixture, you can still use it. You can put it in smoothies. Really? Yeah, you're still getting all those health benefits. Oh, nice. For sure. I'm going to probably move it around just a little bit. It smells so good. It really does. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to taste it. After all this hard work. <laughs> you know, that's the hardest part. Like, as it's brewing and you, you just want to taste it, but you can't because it's not ready. Yes. That's the hardest part. I agree. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, no. So you want to pick up the pot and pour it in? I was just thinking that, too. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh gosh. I'll hold it. Are we sure we want me to do this yes. and not you? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, this one. Okay. Oh. I'll do it together. You got it? Yeah. I right, pulled it over band. Got it? Yep. Yeah. Wow, look at Wow, there's still so much. That's so beautiful. You can just squeeze because you can't squeeze anymore, right? Yeah. So, honey, we're going to do a cup and a half of honey. Ooh, a cup and that's half. a lot of honey. Wow, that was a big squeeze. Yeah. It's all this top part right here. I'm so worried about that split out in front of my face. <laughs> so then we'll put this to the side and deal with it later. Okay. <sighs> it smells so good. Okay, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. okay. Oh my god, so much. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So one cup. Stir, right? Yep. And now another half a cup. So that was a cup that you first put mm -hmm. in there? Okay, and then now a half a cup. I just, all the health benefits of the elderberry, the wolfberries, and yeah. the honey, and the rose hips. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to be hard not, not to do more than one tablespoon I a day. Did. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Does it feel different? It does. Does it? Do you want to feel it? Yeah. Check it out. Oh, it does. You see what I mean? Yeah, you can definitely feel. It's more like a syrup. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's get our jars ready. Uh-oh, here we go. I feel like this is going to be a little messy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so eight, about eight cups. Eight cups. Mm -hmm. So tripling the recipe made at eight cups. Eight cups. Perfect. Oh, you're going to make me pour the first one. <laughs> oh. Me too. I think you can do it. Oh, gosh. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh, no. I don't want to waste it. This is tougher than it looks. Whoever gave you this job. Definitely my first time doing this, right? I can totally tell. <laughs> You're welcome. Stop. Perfect. Yeah, I definitely overfilled that one. Which one? Perfect. Can you tell me where to stop? So Adriana, I discovered elderberries here last summer and all the health benefits of it. So we've used it every fall into the spring daily for the kids and for us. Daily? Mm-hmm, daily. One tablespoon a day. We did it! Yeah. A little messy, that's okay. <laughs> we got it. That looks gorgeous. Your mom dropped all over the counter. I was like, you should let me pour it, though. You want to pour it? Try it. Smells good. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> How did you try your first sip? Off the table. Good. You don't waste it. It's delicious. 
So there you have it. Spend an afternoon with a friend and make your own elderberry syrup. You'll be so excited you did, and you'll save money that way. Yeah. And you'll know the ingredients and the freshness of it. And store it in your fridge and take a tablespoon a day. You'll love it. It's worth it. Try it out. Yes. Thank you for joining us today in the kitchen. It was a lot of fun. It was super fun. And also, if you have your own special elderberry syrup, share with us. We'd love to read and see what it's about. Cheers. And hey, here on the Daddy Curbs Farm, we believe that everyone has a story and every story counts. Thank you for being a part of their story today and letting them be a part of yours. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Sometimes you don't need words.